What's up, with it? What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Yo, what is good, JI Squad? And welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, this video is gonna be very short and also very straight to the point. With that being said, I have a question for you guys. Y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail. I need y'all's opinion on something, and it's very, very important because of the simple fact that it's 2023 happy new year to all of you guys even though i said it in the last vlog if you didn't see that vlog make sure you go tap in it's 2023 um all 2022 i was on the performance aspect of the build you know you guys know i got the car went straight bolt on e85 tune um straight welds straight to the drag strip just been you know working on getting the car to make the fastest pass possible in the quarter mile with the setup that it's running now, with that being said, y'all know me as J.I., the guy who does all the aesthetic mods, makes his cars look and sound good for the J.I. squad that's been here for a minute. Now, for those of you guys who are new with this car, I decided to go with a different approach. Normally, what I do is I'll get the outside of the car looking good, looking right how I want it to be. And then I move to underneath the hood and get the car moving and sounding how I would like it to. With this car, I kind of went straight to, you know, making the car go fast versus making it look good. Because at the end of the day, the 2020 through 2023 Camaros, especially the 1LE Camaros look insane to me stock and obviously to y'all because a lot of you guys be going crazy about vader in my dms and in my comment section and stuff like that and don't get me wrong the car looks amazing yes but some of that credit does not need to go to me it needs to go to chevy because all i did was put on some canards some side markers some side skirts rock guards and window tint as far as the exterior goes oh and one elite badging other than that, I really haven't touched the car and a tow hook. That's it. So with that being said, you guys should be, you know, praising Chevy for making such a beautiful Camaro. Now, leading into my question and the topic of today's video, let's go ahead and move over to Vader because it's time we go ahead and get into the aesthetic part of the build, actually making this car look like my personal card we'll get to the question you know what i'm saying just keep watching the video watch the vlog all the way through smash that like button if you haven't already smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on post notifications for the kid so you can stop missing these uploads man they're bangers now let's get over to vader oh um, sheesh this thing is freaking filthy however it is super clean <laughs> but as you guys can see we got my 2021 primero ss1 le right here vader you dig what i'm saying the star of the channel you know what i mean the channel is basically all the content comes from this car right here man so with that being said we're getting straight into this video straight into the vlog you guys see we got the rock guards we got the rear diffuser splats we got the awe 4.5 inch quad tips in the rear chrome of course we got the side skirts eos carbon fiber side skirts rock guards stock 1le wheels then the Drake dive planes source through Wild Hammer Motorsports, man. And the Z01 add-ons tow hook source through Wild Hammer Motorsports. Now, other than that, the car is pretty much bone stock as far as the exterior goes. Now, if you guys have been in the loop with all of the videos and been in tune following this build, you guys know recently the car was rear-ended. Now, with that being said, it wasn't too bad. You know, we got a brand new diffuser. We got the rear bumper. It was salvageable. They actually went ahead and fixed it and then resprayed it. And then they actually realigned my tri-bar spoiler because of the simple fact that the previous owner, I don't know what they did. Maybe they tried to take it off or it was the dealership. I'm not sure. I know the dealership wanted to take off the wrap on the hood 
from factory. That's how they come when you get a 1LE. The dealership had no idea, but they went ahead and realigned this part of the tri-bar spoiler for me. Now, with that being said, there was also some impact on the trunk, not just the bumper from the accident, which caused them to have to pull out what was like a dent right in this area. Now, the trunk sustained a significant amount of scratches from that process and it is really an eyesore for the kid i can't lie now yes the car is mad dirty right now but with that being said i'm torn you guys know i love carbon fiber man obviously from the interior let me show y'all real quick for those of you guys who are new ain't seen the interior cockpit views man we've got carbon fiber flooded through the entire interior of this 1LE man you dig what i'm saying i gotta add some more carbon to the rear or the, well not even just the rear the exterior man the side skirts are just not doing it it's not enough we need some more i have two options for you guys i'm gonna let you guys decide in the comments down below okay now like i said my trunk took a lot of damage when they went and pulled that dent out right and then my car's rear end also took damage when I got hit. However, the rear end was fixed and the diffuser was replaced. Now the two options are, do we go carbon fiber trunk or do we go carbon fiber diffuser? Now let me explain to you guys why I'm confused or torn on which one to go with. The reason why I'm torn on going with the trunk or the diffuser is simply because the diffuser is brand spanking new and the trunk is actually still damaged. Now, I'm pretty sure my guy Randall over at Mod Effects would be able to get the scratches out with a paint correction, retouching it up because the rear bumper has to be repaint corrected and re ceramic coated. I could have him touch up the trunk for me, or do I just say, you know what, screw it and get my carbon fiber trunk that I've been wanting for the longest. Even back when I had Mamba, man, back when I had Hazel, I wanted to get a carbon fiber trunk for the car. I'm talking about the one that has the little duck bill. I'll go ahead and put an image on the screen right now. I think that it would transform the rear end of this car tremendously. I've seen it on black 1LEs before. It looks amazing. Now, of course, I'm going to have my own twist to it to make it a JI type, you know what I'm saying, one of one piece for sure. But y'all let me know. So that's option one. Now, option two is do we go carbon fiber diffuser in the rear? Now, I have two options for the carbon fiber diffuser. I'm only going to show you guys one, though. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Do we go carbon fiber trunk or do we go carbon fiber diffuser? Now, I personally am already leaning towards one of these options more than the other. But I'm just curious to see what you guys say in the comment section down below. So with that being said, J.I. Squad, y'all let me know right now in the comments down below. Do I go carbon trunk or do I go carbon diffuser? I may or may not have already ordered one of these parts before this video went live mm. <laughs> we're not gonna say too much <laughs> but y'all let me know in the comment section down below what part do you guys think i should go with first diffuser or trunk very very important question man very important question now before i close this video out i'm gonna go ahead and get you guys a quick little startup the car's been sitting for a couple hours now about six hours so it it should be a little it ain't gonna be too loud. It's not a cold start for real, for real, but it's enough to get the job done. So let's go ahead and flip the camera over, get this startup for y'all, and then we'll roll that outro, man. But before I do that, let me go ahead and give you guys the normal spill. You dig what I'm saying? That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop your comment in the comment section down below. What part do you think I should order first? Let me know and give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for the carbon fiber and the year of 2023 and how this car is about to transform from stock to not stock. Let me know. Now let's get it. Oh yeah. Best part. Oh my God. AWE for the win, man. AWE, speed engineering long tube headers, Atlas, X-Pipe, best exhaust for a six gen, if you ask me. I mean, Sheesh! Sheesh!
And let's go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.